If you spend all your time inside playing with Photoshop and don't get to see the sun much, I'm going to show you how to give yourself a tan in Photoshop. Hey guys, welcome to Florida. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today we're giving someone a tan and uh, we're just going to get right into it. This is a picture that Scott sent over. Um, he wanted a pole removed from the background, so we're going to go ahead and do that first. But I figured, why not give someone a tan because it'd be fun and I kind of want one myself. So I had to figure out how to do it so I can do it for myself too. Um, we're going to just grab this image. I'm going to hit full screen and we're going to start off by removing this thing in the background. So to do it, I'm just going to grab the clone stamp tool and um, there we go, clone stamp tool. Grab this, I'm actually gonna grab, this is a really cool shortcut. If you hold down control and option at the same time, you can drag to the left and the right, and that's gonna make your brush larger or smaller. And if you drag up or down, it's gonna make your brush harder and softer. So you can do this with a clone stamp tool or a brush tool, really with anything. And um, we're gonna grab this, and now I'm painting kind of with a harder edge brush. And the reason I'm doing that, it's gonna just give me you know, the appearance of maybe what would look like the top of that little thing there. So I don't have to go in and you know try to like match it, I just use a, soft, a harder edge brush. And uh, there we go. So we're just gonna paint this thing away. And um, sometimes you want a harder edge brush. Not all the time, but sometimes when you just don't want everything to look like, you know, super soft and Photoshoppy, um, a hard edge brush can usually do that a little bit better. Okay, so for this area up here, really I'm just gonna clone stamp from this area. And we're just gonna go all the way up to the very top. There we go. And because it's in the background and it's really bright and things like that, you can't really see much detail in there anyway, so I wouldn't really worry about making it much better than that. Okay, so there we go. We've photoshopped out the pole. That really didn't take too long, and I think it looks pretty good. So the next thing we want to do is uh, we're going to give our subject a tan. So the first thing, we have to take the color range of our skin and make turn that into a selection, and then we have to alter just that. And you can do that in two different ways. Um, the first way we're going to do it is just with an adjustment layer, and this will be kind of like built in to how the adjustment layer works. So we're gonna to go to our adjustment layers. I'm gonna go down here to selective color. And we're gonna choose our reds. And basically we just want to, we're gonna put more, a little bit more yellow, a little bit more brown, and a bit darker in our skin. So here where it says the reds, I'm gonna take this black and just bring that up. So we have more black in, this, in the reds. If you go with a white, this is gonna give you that like kind of weird look that a lot of people tend to like for like uh, fashion types of photos, but we're just gonna give you uh, not that look. <laughs> We're gonna pump a little bit of yellow in there and uh, maybe pull down the magenta a little bit and pull down the cyan. So we can see that did okay. Not perfect, but it definitely did okay. The next thing I wanna do, I'm gonna make a new layer and we're gonna go up to select and down here to color range. And I'm just gonna click right there in her skin. Now you're gonna get, this is gonna select out everywhere that's a lighter color. So it's definitely selecting out some of our backdrop too. You're probably not gonna have it be able to just select your subject, but that's good enough as a selection. So we're gonna hit okay, and uh, it's gonna load that red into a selection. All right, now that the red's in selection, we're gonna grab an adjustment layer, and I'm just gonna go down to curves, and it's gonna load that selection that we just made into the curves adjustment layer. I know it's a lot, but basically we're gonna use this curves adjustment layer to make that skin a little bit darker, and because I, won't, I only want the skin to be darker, I don't want the entire image to be darker, we had to load that selection in first and use that as a layer mask. Okay, so now we have our curves. Instead of grabbing RGB, I'm just gonna grab my individual channels and I'm gonna try just pulling each one of these down. Now it's gonna start off not really looking that great to be honest. Um, so I'm just gonna drag each of them down and then we'll go from there. All right, so the red channel, green channel and blue channel. There we go. And now I'm gonna start adjusting. The blue channel, I'll go up a little bit. The green channel will come up a little bit too. There we go. And here with the red channel, this is how we can control our colors. So not only, I'm dragging them down instead of up because if we drag everything up, it's gonna make everything lighter and I kinda wanna make everything darker. The reason I'm doing this instead of just dragging the RGB down is because we can add color at the exact same time that we're changing the lightness or the darkness of something. So for instance, I want a little bit more green in our skin, I can do that, a little bit more magenta and we can have that control as well. There we go. And let's go into our blue channel. We can see like a little bit more yellow I'm gonna put a tiny bit more blue, like too yellow, it's gonna to start to look really fake and not very good. Um, so we're gonna put a little bit more blue and that's gonna look like she's reflecting the light from the sun as well. Okay, and then back in our red channel, we're just gonna refine that a little bit more. Maybe put a little bit red, a little bit more red in her skin. So you can kind of turn that off and on and see what effect that makes as well. So really we just selected out her skin color and then by dragging each of the three color channels down and then kind of adjusting them, you can get what is a tan on your subject. 
So let's show you guys the before and the after real quick. This is super quick, super easy. You can do this to anyone and um, they'll like you. And they don't have to spend all the time out in the sun getting cancer and all that nasty stuff. Um, so I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option, click on this eyeball here and show you guys the before and the after. Real quick, some of you guys can do in two minutes to give someone a 10. That's it, that's it, we're done. <laughs> and um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that, guys. Thanks so much for watching Flurn. We just sent out an awesome newsletter today. I hope you guys were signed up for it. We, we did it on how we got a thousand likes on Facebook on our page, The Inspirational Photographers. I hope you enjoyed the newsletter. And if you're not signed up, be sure you do sign up for our newsletters because we send out the awesomeness all the time. That's how we roll. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirn you later.